family. I am going to be making a video on how to prepare your own homemade toothpaste. Um, I got the video um, from Set Apart Living, aka Mama Cheryl, and I know she got some of her um, advice from some other um, YouTubers, but um, I love to follow Mama Cheryl. Not just because she's an uh, Israelite, but maybe a little bit partial to her. But anyway, so I'm going to make um, the, the toothpaste. And um, I've got my pink Himalayan salt. Baking soda. Coconut oil. Oh, no, that's lavender. Sorry. Where? Oh. Tea tree. Mm -hmm. this one. And clove. So, family, as you can see, I have a lot of different uh, essential oils or various um, types of essential oil. Um, and different brands as well hold on sorry about that different brands as well and I know you hear uh, mama Cheryl play it in the background but it's only because I want to make sure that I put the exact right amount of baking powder in there so a cup of baking soda Okay. I have a glass um, measuring cup. I don't have a dry mixer, but I have a, uh, um, a I'm sorry, a glass measuring cup to measure out my one cup of baking soda. Sorry, family. Just have to do a couple of little adjustments. And then I'll let you all see it once I, uh, once it's in here. Once I've gotten everything mixed up. Okay, so two tablespoons of the salt, the pink Himalayan salt. Two tablespoons. This is teaspoons. So that's why I'm doing four. Okay, half a cup of coconut oil. Okay, so let me get this all mixed in and I'll be right back. Okay, family, this is the consistency of the toothpaste so far okay I'm just using a glass bowl because these are all natural products so unlike when you're making soap or things that carry chemicals you have to use different uh, you have to use a different glass or a different um, utensils whenever you're using like harsh chemicals so since this is not harsh chemicals I'm able to just um, use my regular mixing just a regular bowl okay so now that's all mixed up nice and I'm gonna add one drop of the tea tree 
these um, are very concentrated. The essential oils are very concentrated, so you don't have to add a lot. So just one drop. Oops, you did two drops. Sorry about that, family. We're going to do four drops of clove. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, I put five. Okay. We mix that up. And the clove um, is the tea tree is an antiseptic, and the clove helps with like sore gums. As a matter of fact, when I had a um, my tooth pulled, I took some clove and I put it on a um, a cotton ball and then I stuck it in my mouth and it took the pain away right away. So, these essential oils work wonders. Sometimes when I'm having muscle aches, I'll use some peppermint oil. And as you see here, um, I have some turmeric um, drops that I also use daily. If you want it stiffer, as Mama Cheryl has suggested, is you can use baking soda, uh, more baking soda, to change the consistency of it. Okay. Now, I think I'm going to put a little bit, I think I'm going to do a drop of peppermint oil because that peppermint oil is really strong and I think I'm gonna do a drop of, um, of lemon because I love the smell of lemon and I love the taste here it is some lemon now what are some of the other essential oils that if are just a drop be, of lemon, um, just for that to, that to lovely what, what smell and taste. So peppermint and lemon. So I just did one drop of the peppermint and one drop of lemon. That was my choice. I know that Mama Cheryl used two drops of peppermint, but I used uh, one drop of peppermint and one. Uh, drop of lemon essential oils. Just flavors. Each essential oil does have its own nutritional or supplemental value. Yeah, there you go. Okay, be right back, family. Okay, family, I'm back, and this is the toothpaste. So, peppermint oil. Clove, tea tree, not a lot of that, and I put a drop of lemon just because I like lemon. Okay, uh, I also made a mouthwash just really quick while I was doing this so that way we can have our natural toothpaste and our natural mouthwash. And in the mouthwash, I just put uh, a little tea tree, clove, so one drop of tea tree, one drop of clove, and a couple drops of the peppermint oil in just a regular water bottle, something like this. And I mixed it up, and I had my Ish try it for me, and, um, and he really enjoyed it. He said that it was a really great mouthwash. Mm -hmm. And I see that Camille has tried it, and I'm glad that it works because it means it's killing all the germs in your mouth. Yay! Yeah. All right, so that's it, family. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Oh, one more thing. Um, I know I talked about um, a lot of different things with essential oils. I know that I've mentioned it before on one of our other videos. But um, one of my favorite essential oils to use is the sweet almond oil. You can go ahead, babe. Sure. Yeah. Uh, it's one of the sweet almond oils, and that's only because it really doesn't have a scent to it, but uh, the consistency is very nice, and um, it's really hydrating to the skin. So I put this 
uh, particular essential oil in all of my lotions, my unscented lotions, and um, in any in it's even my like grapeseed oil things like that. I'll do a couple drops of almond oil with the grapeseed oil, and then what other um, scent that I want to uh, to smell. Like sometimes the lemon or um, chamomile, patchouli. Uh, a Thrive blend that I've never heard of before. But anyway, uh oh, we paused that. All right, family. Sorry about that. And um, I think I was telling you all about the Thrive blend. I've never tried this th uh, Thrive blend, um, but it has. It's for purifying. It's got some lemon, the eucalyptus, and a couple other uh, citrus oils in there. So these oils can be put in your bath water, um, amongst other things that you can uh, use these essential oils for. So ladies, go out there and purchase some essential oils. You can get them from Whole Foods, um, any of your natural uh, grocery stores and um, I would definitely recommend keeping myrrh and frankincense on um, on hand because the frankincense uh, works very well for my neuropathy and if you have diabetes or anything I don't have diabetes but neuropathic pain can happen in a lot of different conditions and the frankincense oil works very well for that um, and then the myrrh as well is a very um, nice earthy um, smell it, a lot of people don't like the smell of myrrh but I like to mix the frankincense the frankincense and the myrrh together and then put them in my diffuser at times when I just want to just have like some aromatherapy as well so that's it um, we'll be making more videos on how to uh, make other natural products I think the next one we're gonna do will be maybe a laundry detergent we'll see um, if you have any ideas on other natural products please comment below and like and subscribe please um, we really appreciate all your prayers and support so if you're wanting to live a set apart life, this is one of the first steps is to learn how to make your own natural um, body um, care products, including your toothpaste, your mouthwash, your soap, and your laundry detergent. Okay, shalom.